International Space Station. As all of my family and friends know, I love to run when I'm on Earth. Luckily, we have the capability to run here on the space station, too. In fact, it's one of the uh, three exercises that we do on a daily basis to help keep our hearts and our bones and our muscles strong while we're here without the gravity pull of Earth uh, affecting our body every single day. So let me show you how we do it here. This is our treadmill. It's called T2. It's located in Node 3 on the International Space Station. You'll notice that the treadmill can move. It's on a vibration isolation system like all of our exercise equipment is. And the reason is because there are a lot of loads when you run on a treadmill and we really don't want to impart those loads onto the space station. So we have all of our exercise equipment on vibration isolation system. Obviously in space we need something to keep us on the ground when we're running. What we use is a harness, which is very much like a backpacking harness, and the straps are adjusted so that the load is evenly distributed between your shoulders and your hips, just as if you were backpacking. We attach, by these rings, the harness to a system of hooks and bungee cord. You can see there's some stretch in the bungee cord, and then we can adjust and change the number of hooks that we use. Today I'm going to use four hooks. If I were to use three hooks, it would provide a little more load. If I used five hooks, it would be a little less load. And then in that way we can adjust the amount of load on our body as we're running. The T2 is controlled by our laptop here in front of the, in front of the treadmill. And then once I'm all strapped in, I can go ahead and, and select a protocol. The, uh, our trainers on the ground get protocols designed for us that we can use. Although the protocol, this is a, uh, an interval protocol that I can do. And now you can see that there's a target load. The target that the, my trainers wanted me to reach was a 100 pound load. There are load cells in the treadmill and that's how it's determining. And you can see with the four hooks that I put on, it's pretty close to what the target load is. Click OK, and then I'm ready to run. You can see we also have uh, heart rate on display. We wear heart rate monitors. And uh, this one, once, once I push start, the treadmill uh, belt will start moving, and I'll just uh, follow the protocol. Great run. Not quite the same as being out in the fresh air with the wind in your face, but a nice alternative.